Hi yogis, my name is Tana. Welcome to today's 15 minute grounding yoga flow to help you unwind and relax. If you're feeling a bit scattered or stressed, this practice will give you the opportunity to recenter and connect to your body and breath. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to support me. And if you're often here, welcome back. When you're ready, let's go ahead and find a child's pose at the back of our mat. So you can take your knees wide, walk the arms forwards in front of you, and soften the forehead to the earth. Relax through your shoulders, your arms, and your elbows. And just take a few moments here to check in with your physical body. Noticing if there are any specific areas that feel tight or tense. And then really try to breathe into those spaces. Allowing the body to soften a little bit more into the floor with each breath out. And feeling your body sink into the ground. Relax the muscles in your face and start to deepen your breath, breathing in and out through your nose. Finding that soft expansion of the rib cage with each breath in. And a sense of drawing down into the earth with the breath out. On your next breath in, softly lift your gaze. And grounding your elbows to the floor, draw your palms together and then draw them over your head. And get quite a nice deep stretch through your triceps here, the inner lines of the arms. This can be quite intense, so just take it nice and slowly. And find a sense of release and opening here. And continuing to breathe deeply in and out through your nose, keeping the head soft on the floor. Breathe into your arms, your chest, and all the way up the back line of your body. On your exhale, softly lower the palms to the earth and glide forwards, rolling over your knees to find a tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide into the floor, curl your back toes under, and find your cow pose. Open up through the heart space, expand. Exhale to round, curl everything in, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, open and lift the heart forward, stretch the front body open. Exhale, nice and slowly round through your spine, broadening across your upper back. Inhale, slowly with ease, breathing in, stretch the heart forwards. Exhale, round and contract, curling everything inwards. Inhale, cow pose, open and lift, push into your palms. Exhale, slowly round your spine, draw your navel into your spine. And then come into your cow pose for a last time, push the heart forwards, breathe in. Exhale, breathing out, round through your spine. Slowly find a neutral spine. And then we'll spin our feet over to the right side. Draw the left leg behind you and reach the left arm up and over your ear. Keep firming into that left foot and you'll find a sense of opening, a sense of expansion through the left side of the body. Keep the face relaxed and keep reaching out through those left fingers. And then we'll slowly rise all the way up onto that right knee. Reach the right palm up and over your head, over onto the other side now. Keep that left leg grounded into the floor and breathe into the right ribs. Exhale, slowly come all the way down. Come back onto your hands and your knees, tabletop position, and then we'll take it over to the other side. Draw the feet over to the left side, right leg draws behind you. Breathe in as you reach out through the right arm. 
finally opening the spaciousness through the lateral line of the body. Take a nice full breath here. And exhale, come all the way up onto that left knee and reach up and over through the left arm. Breathing deeply into the left side of the body and feeling that left knee anchor you down into the earth. On the end of your exhale, float all the way to the floor, come onto your hands and your knees, pressing into the earth, curl the back toes under and glide your hips all the way up and back, find a downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, toes spread wide. Find that connection, that deep sense of rooting into the earth. Let's begin to pedal out through your feet here. So you'll bend one leg, straightening out the other, and really just taking your time to find a bit of space and length through the back lines of the legs, keeping your face soft, your head relaxed. Breathe deeply into the sides of your waist. And then find stillness in your dog. Push down through the knuckles of your hands. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale out through the nose. Send the right leg into the air. Find a three-legged dog. Drawing into that right leg. Bend through the leg, heel towards your bottom. Breathing in. On your exhale, step the right foot forwards outside of the right hand and we'll find a lizard pose. Drop the left knee to the earth and then pull the heart forwards in between the gates of the shoulders, finding that opening through your hip flexor. Breathing into the right side. On your next breath in, curl the back toes under, pick the knee off the floor and step the left foot forwards to meet the right to find a yogi squat. Draw your heels in and your toes out and connect your palms together at the heart space. And then really firm down through all four corners of your feet and lift up through your crown. And feel yourself really ground into the floor beneath you. Exhale, place your hands out in front of you and take a fold over your legs, drawing your bottom up into the air and taking a generous bend through the knees. Relax your face. Inhale to peel the left arm to the sky, straightening out through the left leg, bending through the right knee. Breathe in. Exhale, changing arms, peel the right arm to the sky working towards straightening out through that right leg, left leg is bent. Exhale, lower both hands to the earth. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold, melt your chest over your thighs and then slowly start to roll your spine all the way up to find Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale to sweep your arms upwards, find length. Exhale to fold forwards, hinge over the hips, melt your heart space closer to your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. And on your exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Stretch the tailbone up and back, root down through your fingers, through your toes, through the balls of the foot. On your next breath in, send the left leg into the air, three-legged dog, bend through that left leg, draw your heel to your bottom, and keep anchoring down through that right foot. And then slowly step that left foot outside of your left hand to find lizard pose on the other side. Sink the right knee to the earth and breathe in fully as you pull the heart through finding that opening through your hips, 
through the chest. And then go ahead and curl your right toes under, pick the right knee off the floor and swivel over to the right side to find a wide-legged forward fold. Place your hands beneath your shoulders, press down through the edges of your feet, inhale to a halfway lift, lift the chest, exhale to fold, melt down, breathe in, come halfway again, push the heart forwards and up, exhale, float down, Lower your head a little bit closer to the floor. Keep pressing down through all four corners of your feet. And then come for a last time, halfway lift, breathe in. And on the breath out, swivel all the way over to the front of your mat to find a low lunge, and then we'll find half pigeon pose. So just walk that left foot over to the right side of your mat, ground the edge of the foot, grounding the shin into the earth. And then lift up through your crown, lift up through your chest. And exhale, slowly walk your arms forwards to find a little bit of a deeper fold, drawing your chest a bit closer to the earth. And finding that spaciousness through the outer line of your hip. And try to keep your shoulders, your upper body relaxed. So we have a tendency to hold on to tension in this area when anything is specifically challenging. So notice that and then notice what your breath is doing here. And can we keep the breath nice and steady? And begin to walk your arms back up. Find a tabletop position. And then change sides, step the right foot forwards, ground the edge of that right foot, ground the shin, lift up through the roof of your mouth, breathe in. And breathing out, take a soft fold, and just curiously exploring this shape, and noticing how this side is feeling. And maybe drawing your forehead a little bit closer to the earth, maybe not. The important thing here is that you're finding your breath and trying to let go of any tension that you're holding onto in the body. And really welcoming a sense of deep release. On the end of your exhale, start to walk your arms back upwards and then slide that left leg in front of you and we'll meet in a cross-legged seat. Just place one foot in front of the other, sit up nice and tall through your spine. Inhale to extend the arms upwards, exhale to take a twist to your right side. Place the right hand on the earth behind you and place the left hand to the outer right thigh. Inhale, find length, lift up through your crown as you anchor down through your sit bones. And exhale, slowly unravel, sweep the arms back up into the air and find a twist to the other side. And feel that opening through your chest, through the ribs, close down the eyes and just find that extension and the rotation. Exhale, slowly travel back to center. And let's bring our hands to our heart space. Close down the eyes and take a full breath here in through your nose, nice and deep. And exhale, let it go out through your nose. And bow your head to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, Yogi. I really appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy this practice, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel to support me and follow me on Instagram at tana.yoga and let's continue the conversation there. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.